So building your first base in Power World, even a second or third base, can be a tough call because 99% of the time you want to build in an area where materials are easy to come by. In this video guys, I bring you some of the best locations in this game for base building and those material farms. So whether you're trying to move your main base or you just want to build a work base to farm materials, I've scoured this map, the entire map, looking for the perfect spots. And today guys, I believe I bring you the best. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. I'm giving away a couple copies of this game. To be in with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. Winners will be announced in a few days. Good luck everybody. Okay, so this video will consist of many spots that I have found where a base can be set up for either your main living base or a farming base. I cover all materials in regards to ore, coal, sulfur and pure quartz too. So let's go. And first up guys, we're going to start with the ore farms because first on, a lot of people will need those ingots. So ore is very, very important. So there are plenty of spots all over the map, but let's just get into the best ones I have found. So first up guys, we have this great little location. So this spot is home to around eight ore rocks. Uh, the area itself is mostly low level. Plenty of other materials around too. But best of all guys, you also get this amazing view. What more would you want? Now this can be one of your main bases. I mean, if I wouldn't have built up in an easy area, guys, I would definitely have been coming to this spot. But yeah, it's definitely one of the better earlier spots in the game for sure. Plenty of metal too around here. Stone, wood, great view. You do what you got to do, guys. Okay, so next up, guys, we have another spot filled with those all rocks. I actually used this from real early on, guys. I got most of my metal from this spot. The spot itself, I will say, it's probably too small for a main base setup, but it is a perfect starting farming base for that ore. But yeah, great spots, guys, either ore. And you can see its location on screen right here. The next ore spot is actually a great main base building spot. Low leveled area, loads of materials around, and it even has its very own skill tree nearby which you can earn and farm those pal abilities from. The location of this spot you can see on screen now guys, but it's definitely a great, great, great first base spot for sure. Okay, so moving on people and we have another ore farming spot. So this one is a tough one. I mean, the area is filled with those rocks, but because it's on a slight hill, this alone puts me off building a main base here. But the spot itself is amazing for that ore. Uh, sure, I counted around 10 blocks in this small vicinity. So yeah, guys, this one I would recommend as a farming base spot for sure. Real early on too. Nice area and you can see the location on screen now people. Okay, so next up, we introduced a bit of coal into the mix. So this first part I've already covered on my channel, but just in case you missed that, it is a great, great ore and coal farming spot. On the top of this mountain top, safe and secure up here, there's like seven or eight of both of these rocks, ore and coal, right next to each other. I'm currently using this uh, for a farming base for that coal and metal. It's perfect for this. But a main base could be built up here. It would just be tricky trying not to block spawns if you want to have a decently sized base because the area, the vicinity of where you put that power box down, it covers up all the rocks, but it doesn't leave you much room to make a big base here. So keep that in mind. But it is either or guys, a great spot to build a farming base for that coal and that metal, that ore. So yeah, do what you gotta do here. Okay, so moving on, and this next spot is also a great one. So this spot is legit one of the highest points in the game. But up here, there's a bit of space too. We have loads of ore rocks here, but also guys, just below, slightly down below, there are many, many coral rocks just waiting for you to farm. Me personally and how I am, it's probably a little too small for me, but it could make someone a great spot. I mean, there's plenty of like... Uh, flat surfaces around here too. I mean, you wouldn't even have to build onto where these ore rocks are. You can build next to it and just farm the coal and farm the ore when you needed to. I mean, hey, 
just run out there guys. I mean this one can make someone a perfect first base or even a second or third base. Okay, so this next spot is a great flat piece of land with plenty of coal rocks here. Now the area is hot, so you'd have to prepare to set up here. But the plane itself is a good setup for someone. I just don't feel a spot like this is for most. For sure, a great coal farming spot, but as a main base, I ain't sure. Okay, so now we move on to that sulfur and ore. Now trust me, I've searched everywhere for a single spot on this map which both can be utilized to farm uh, for a simple working base although those spots do exist few and far between and the ones that do exist and exactly filled with the desired rocks we want plus the area is always baking so you have to keep that in mind when it comes to a main base up here and this is a great spot i've used but only for that sulfur the great thing about this is there's a fast travel point right next to it so I'm not even sure guys you need to even build a base up here. I mean it is kind of small, uh, fitting a base on this side would be just pointless in regards to a main base but a working base could be fine. This area is also home to loads of those oil rocks too which I didn't spot at first. If only these two were a little closer together it would be that perfect farming base setup for that sulfur and that ore. But yeah guys there's plenty of both in this small vicinity uh, so you can just come here whenever you want and farm away. Okay, so this next spot is one where there's both plenty of ore and sulfur. It's just slightly too far apart. Now, although where the ore is uh, located, the land's a great size, mostly flat too. And there's loads of sulfur around this area too. So it could be a good spot for somebody. Me personally, it would be a farming base for me at best. Not quite flat enough and big enough for how I like things. But hey, some people like it small. Some people like to build up instead of out, which is fine too. So this next spot is more or less the same. There's a ton of ore rocks. In fact, there's 10 in this very small space. And to be honest, the area itself, in regards to a main base, might do someone okay. It is a little small though, but the area itself is filled with that sulfur. Just a little further down here, there's countless sulfur rocks that you could take advantage of. So metals here, sulfur's here. It's not a bad area to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so the next two spots you could create farming bases around. These are more or less strictly sulfur with that odd or rock here too. So yeah, check these two out guys. That could be a good working base for you. Okay, so now let's move on to that pure quartz. So this material comes from those colder areas, so the right gear will be needed to even survive up here, never mind farm them. So this first spot is littered with pure quartz rocks, with a couple of oil rocks here too. Could be a great setup for someone who likes the cold. So this next spot is actually a decent main base spot with a lot of flattish land nearby but here as you can see there's loads of that pure quartz and even the odd metal ore rock hiding nearby too. And that skill tree is right nearby also guys, I mean it could be the perfect spot for somebody. Okay, so this next spot is loaded with pure quartz with the odd metal ore rock here also. What I like about this spot is besides the weather, it's quite safe due to being elevated. I've actually myself thought about using this spot for my own farming base, which I'm yet to set up, but I'm probably going to do so for sure.
Okay, so next up, guys, I bring you some amazing main base spots. Now, these might not be the perfect farm spots, but the areas I will show you offer that space, flat land, and just in general, great looking locations for some great giant bases. As a lot like my main base, it's in an area where there's literally just stone, wood, and berries. There's no metal or ore around where I am, but because it's my main base, I can always fast travel to a working base and bring back to this one. So yeah, for your main base, it don't need to be littered with materials as long as you can fast travel in and out of it and you're good with the land and the size, you are good to go. Okay, so this first spot is filled with white or bare minimums uh, like wood and stone, but it also has a big flat landed area. But it does get better guys. What's amazing about this spot is just down nearby this cliff, there's a whole group of those all rocks waiting for you to come and farm them when needed. So yeah, one of the best spots I've seen in the game for sure. I probably would have built up here if I wouldn't have already committed myself to building where I first built. But yeah, this is a great, great area for sure, guys. And I'm contemplating moving here. We'll see, guys. We will see. Okay, so this next spot I was tempted by myself. The area is uh, flat, but there are levels to it too, which I do like. I also love the surrounding body of water. This one, though, could be used as a, a working base because of the... The uh, coal rocks here, but in my opinion, I'd flatten the land, I'd build over them, block the spawns, and take this area up as my main base. I could build something amazing here. Like I said, I love the body of water around it too. I may do something like this, I don't know yet. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so this next spot isn't the biggest, although it is big enough for some. Building the base at the foot of this Anubis statue I believe would look amazing and I for sure can see some kings living here. Although there's not much vital materials nearby there is a skill tree here so you can farm those palabilities uh, but yeah this could make a real great base set up for somebody. Okay, so lastly guys, we have this amazing spot, which is home to actually tons of rocks. It has plenty of flat land too, and it also has a massive coal farming spot right nearby. So you could possibly build between the two farms and use the flat area as your main base and go to either or farm whenever you wanted to. When you need that coal, when you need that metal, you could use and abuse the areas surrounding it. So this is one of the better spots in the game for sure. And there we have it guys, 20 of the best base spots as well as base farming spots you can get in PAL World. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.